My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about my January favorites. I love monthly favorites and I have missed doing this. I never do a monthly favorites in December because I do my end of the year favorites. So I'm happy to be back to my monthly favorites routine and I have a bunch of good stuff to share with you this month. Let's start off with a couple of favorite books. One of these I actually finished in December and then one I finished in January, but like I said, I don't do December specific favorites, so I'm gonna share it with you this month. My favorite book in December was Matchmaking for Beginners. This one's by Maddie Dawson. This book made me cry multiple times. Just a warning for other very emotional, sensitive people out there. This one's a crier. And most of it was in the first half of the book, at least for me. I think the name and the cover make you think this is a romance story. And there is that in here, but this is a lot more about self-discovery and coming into your own. There's a little bit of like magical realism. There are a lot of really great lovable, imperfect characters in here. I typically like more lighthearted books and not ones that make me cry a lot, but I really enjoyed this book. Now, if you're looking for something slightly more lighthearted, I would recommend this one by Roselle Lim. This is Vanessa Yu's Magical Paris Tea Shop. I bought this because I read a book by her previously that I loved called Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune. This one has a lot of magical realism and this one is a lot more love story forward. There's also very strong themes of self-discovery in this book. These books are actually have a lot in common. No wonder I like both of them. This one is just more of a sweet, light, easy read. Both great. I recommend both of them. I love both of them. Obviously, they're in my favorites video. So before we move on to the skincare and beauty products, I do have one more non-beauty favorite from this month, and that is my little coffee collection that I released on my Etsy shop. I absolutely love it. Here, I'll take this off so that you can see up close. The coffee collection has these little coffee cups and little coffee bean beads. These are just so stinking cute. A couple of the colors are already sold out because I only made two or three pairs of each color. I ordered more parts so I can make more hopefully in the future, but I just thought these were so fun and adorable. If you are a fellow coffee lover, you can go check those out on my Etsy shop. It's just for fun style. I've got a lot of really cute stuff on the shop right now. The Valentine's Day collection is out and the next collection that I'm releasing is one that I'm really, really excited about. It's all, well, I won't tell you what it is yet, but I'll be sneak peeking it on my just for fun style Instagram soon. Now let's talk about some skincare because it is very cold, very windy, very wintry, dry, just painfully winter where I live and I already have dry skin so this time of year is absolutely terrible for my skin. I've mentioned this in the past, this Herbison hand cream which you can see I have used up an entire another tin of this because it is the only thing that saves my hands. Otherwise my hands get so dry that they, you know, I get the nice little cracking knuckles, but I also get these really painful like wind burn type of bumps on my hands. So I just purchased this. I didn't realize that they made a way, way bigger tin of this stuff. So I'm pretty excited about this. Got a new scent this time, but I highly recommend this if you're like me and your hands or feet get so dry and just decimated by winter. This is the only stuff that has saved me. And another product that I've used up, what is this, an empties video? This is the lip balm from Fourth Ray, the vanilla lip balm. I don't know if you can see in there, but I have used this up. That's the end. I love the way this smells. I love the way it feels. I already have a backup of this because I love it so much. 
So, welcome to my empties video. No, I'm just kidding. Those are the only things that I've used up that are in this video. I'm a lip balm fiend, not a secret. I always love lip balms and lip oils. Anything that's intensely moisturizing. And this is probably one of my top favorite fourth ray products at this point, which is saying a lot because I use a lot of their products. We might as well just continue on the ColourPop train. I know that was fourth ray, but close enough. They're sister companies. This pretty fresh pressed powder is so nice. I have been wearing it every single day since I got it. I'm wearing this today with just a little bit of concealer. This is my face makeup product and it's so easy. I use a really dense foundation brush to apply it to get a little bit more coverage, but I'm a light coverage gal anyway. I do have a full review on this where you can see my wear test. You can see really, really close up what this looks like on my skin, really close up. So if you want more information about this powder and if you want to see the swatches of all the shades, go and check out that video. I gave it a good review in the video and I've only grown to use it and wear it more and more since then. So this definitely deserves a spot in the favorites. Since we are talking about face makeup, let's talk about my other face favorite for this month. These glowy little cheeks are all thanks to the Pat McGrath Bridgerton Cheek Trio. I also reviewed this collection. I got almost all the pieces from the Bridgerton collection. And in the review, this was my favorite and it's still my favorite. I love this. I'm wearing it a little bit more subtly than I was in that video. I was just kind of piling it on going ham because why not? But I am wearing a combination of all three of these powders. I kind of just dip in everything and put it on my cheeks and I think it looks so nice. It definitely looks like a natural flush but it has a beautiful glow. I was afraid that this highlighter was going to be too deep for my skin and I think as just a mix in with my blush and overall glowy cheek it looks perfect. The routine of doing a little moisturizing primer, tapping a tiny bit of concealer and just tapping it out with my finger, putting this powder all over my face and then just mixing all three of these and putting it on my cheek as my go-to face this month has been, first of all, really easy. I love a lazy girl makeup look, but I think it just looks beautiful. It looks like way more effort went into it than actually did. I am wearing a little bronzer with this combo today just because you know, wanted to be a little extra fancy for you. You're welcome. But I'm just very, very impressed by the cheek products in particular. I definitely see what all the Pat McGrath hype is about. I am a blush girl and a shimmery cheek girl, and this is really, really doing it for me. Speaking of being a shimmer loving girl, if you watched my most recent indie haul video, then you will not at all be surprised by my eyeshadow favorite for the month. Oh man, it's these Terra Moons Cosmetics Singles. I love these eyeshadows. It was love at first swatch when I hauled them. I was going crazy for them. I did an eyeshadow look that I really, really loved in my haul video. I'm wearing quite a few of these shadows for my look today. I cannot get enough of these and Terra Moons just had a sale and yes, I did. I did buy more because I am hooked on these eyeshadows. The colors are so vibrant. The formulas are just incredible. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic is inside of these eyeshadows, but I really like it and I want to be a part of it. So if you want to see the shade names, the swatches, all of the info about the singles that I'm talking about, go and check out my most recent indie haul video and you'll be able to see which shades I have in here, what they look like, swatched, all of that fun stuff. And I did film this eye look that I'm wearing right now, so that will be out soon for you as well. My very last favorite for the month is a lip color favorite. And this is not a new favorite. I always have a mix of new and old products in my favorites because I do tend to test a lot of new things, but I also cycle through the things that are already existing in my collection. 
and this was in my end of the year favorites. So it's not really new, but I've just still been loving it and wearing it so much that it definitely deserves a place in my January favorites. This is from Milani Cosmetics. It's their matte lipstick in the shade Passion. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I love this color. It looks great with every single look that I've paired it with. It wears for a really, really long time and it stays comfortable. It doesn't get all dry and flaky on my lips. Aside from this being in my end of the year favorites, I do have a whole lip swatch video with this nudes collection. So if you wanna see more colors from this collection, definitely check that video out. I'll try to remember to link it in the description for you, but I'm just so hooked on these toasty brick kind of colors lately and I can't stop wearing this and it's such a good deal. I know these are sold out all the time but this is under $10 for this lipstick and I think that it's fantastic. That wraps up my favorites from the month. Now is the time when I want to hear what you enjoyed in January. Your favorite books, your favorite shows, your favorite snacks, your favorite makeup, your favorite anything and everything. I always love to hear about the things that you're enjoying too. So make sure you tell us about your favorites down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, don't drop everything. Okay. Oh, nailed it. What's a way to, s to make sense? Alexa, Google how to make sense. Whew. When you have shiny cheeks and shiny eyelids, it's really hard not to be constantly distracted. <sighs> Goals. Um, where was I? My mo- it- I- uh, great. Of course. Of course you do. What are you even talking about? Ma'am? Can we also talk about this sweater? I wish that you could feel how soft this sweater is. It is the softest, coziest, comfiest. This should be a favorite too. It's probably sold out now. I got it from Cider. I actually got a bunch of really, really cute sweaters from Cider. The only thing is you got to watch because they have so many crop tops on their website and I'm not, I'm just not a crop top girl. I respect the right to crop your top. It's just not for me, you know? So be careful. There's some sneaky crop tops on there, but th this sweater and all of the sweaters that I've gotten from them, I got the, the blue one with the clouds on it that I was wearing in my best of 2021 favorites video series. That was from Cider too. They're just, they got some really cute stuff. Okay, it's time. To, I gotta, I gotta, gotta go edit this video so I can tell you about my favorite things. And you know what else is my favorite? You and your face because I love your face and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. Thank you.